Hello there, welcome to another speed paint video. Uh, this time in this speed paint I'm drawing the character Steven Universe from the show of the same name. I know it's been uh, quite a while since my last speed paint video so I decided to just draw another character and make a speed paint of that. Really my original plan was to actually do videos every few weeks but and I started off doing that but then university got in the way and well it didn't really end up doing any more until now. Hopefully I'll be able to do some more now that I have more free time but I'll have to see how that goes. Anyway, so yeah, for this I decided to draw Steven from, well, Steven Universe. Since I started that show like, I don't know, over half a year ago. But um, as I expected, <laughs> as with how popular it is, it's a really good show. Definitely enjoy watching it and I'm really looking forward to the, new ep the next episode, so I don't know when that will be yet, but... It's definitely gotten really intense um, in the last, well, few episodes. But yeah, it's a really enjoyable show, and so I decided to draw the main character. You can see here, I'm currently doing the line art. I also had another idea, but I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do it yet or not, is to try and draw, like, all or if not a lot of the main characters of this show, and do speed paints for all of them, instead of just doing random drawings for a while, maybe just do it based on that theme. Or at least draw some more anyway, I definitely want to draw some other Steven Universe characters. So yeah, here yeah, I'm still doing the line art on Fire Alpaca, and then afterwards I'm trying to add the shield. wasn't really sure what pose to do with this picture at first, but I thought it could be fun if I try and draw him in a pose using his um, magical shield, so I tried that to see how it worked. I think I went back on GIMP in the end to, do the, um, to draw the shield line up because <laughs> I don't know if there's a method on Fire Alpaca to actually do perfect circles or not without fitting the whole thing in. And then here I'm using the... Um, I don't know what tool this is called actually. Well basically I'm u using the uh, curve tool to do the um, swirls around the shield and <laughs> I'm not even sure if you understand what I'm doing here but I kind of just did this silly cheating way of doing the other line by copy pasting the one already drawn. It's a bit, to be honest, it was supposed to be quicker, but I think I just complicated things by doing it like that. Still, it worked out okay. Just adding the little triangle shapes on it. And the colors. When I started this, I wasn't really sure what kind of line art to do, nor what kind of shading to do, but to be honest, in the end, I'm not that happy with the result of this picture. Could have been better, but I think I'm a little rusty when it comes to digital colouring as well, or digital drawing in general. Like, I think I was not really sure whether to do line art that, that was like thick or thin or <clears throat> neat or sketchy. And the same for shade as well. You'll see when I get to the shading part that it's mostly soft shading. Something I don't usually do, at least haven't in ages. I don't think I'm very good at it as a result. So yeah, you can, as you can see I'm using the soft brush tool. Oh yeah, another thing I decided to do with this speed paint, unlike the previous ones, is to um, put the camera closer so that one can um, one doesn't see all the tools on the sides anymore and it's more focused on the actual character I'm drawing. I don't know if you guys prefer that or prefer how it was before, so let me know in the comments. But I thought I'd give it a try. I did actually try and do a speed paint a few months ago of, of a Lilo and Stitch drawing, but I was going to put it on YouTube, but uh, one, I kind of didn't have as much time at the, at the time. And, well, I kind of was experimenting with the different ways of recording, and it was kind of a, the video was kind of a mess, to be honest, so I didn't really want to put it on anymore. But I think this one turned out a little better for how it was recorded. But again, let me know what you guys think. So adding some hair detail there. I kind of imagine Steven, ha Steven having like curly hair, I'm not really sure how accurate that is. As the drawing style on the show is pretty cartoony, so it's not always easy to tell. It's actually a really good drawing style though. I kind of tried to half draw that style uh, there, here and 
half implement my own style, but <laughs> I think it turned out a little messy in the end. Yeah, I think if I, I think I may end up redrawing this picture at some point in a more sketchy style, like both for the line art and for the shade, because. It's, I don't know, something just seems missing, like the picture seems a little flat and like there isn't a huge visual interest to it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being like, overly critical, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I made the line art lighter on the shield to make it look a little less um, cartoony, I suppose. Well, make it look more like it's sort of see-through, really transparent in a way and then I think his arm so you can see his arm behind I'm not sure if the shield is supposed to be very see-through or not but I didn't want it to hide all of um, Steven either so I thought I'd show some of him behind it make it a little more interesting I need a bit more shade and then I make it kind of glittery at the end to add some effects but yeah I'm not that pleased with how it turned out but um, I think I'll try and redraw it at some point and do better next time with a different style. Uh, I'll probably draw some other some other Steven Universe characters first though. But yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and um, be sure to leave your opinion in the comments and have a nice day.